All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened Fizz Vegito Blue at Rainbow Status here on the global side of the game. It is currently 4 a.m. where I live. I am so freaking tired. I could literally pass out at any moment, I'm just coming off an hour long stream doing his Extreme Z battle event, getting all the medals, fully Extreme Z awakening him. And yeah, I am like pretty much delirious at this point, but you know what? It was all worth it because I just could not wait to do this showcase. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, first things first, as I always do in my showcases, is uh, I want to go over the details for this unit post Extreme Z Awakening. So for those of you that already know what he does, like you know what his passive is, what his leader skill is, all that stuff, feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the gameplay. All right, so starting with, let's go with his stats. He has 19,100 and 37 attack at rainbow status which is actually quite insane one of the highest we've seen ever from an extreme z awakened unit it might be the highest i'm not sure if there is a unit with a higher stat but um as far as i can remember for extreme z awakened units 19,137 is very very high 18,000 hp and 10,194 defense which is a little low honestly but not too bad his leader skill is super class key plus 4, HP attack and defense, no that's his super attack, HP attack and defense plus 80%, and his super attack is uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. So before it was just immense damage, now he greatly raises attack and defense which does make a huge difference for his damage output, but also for his tanking ability, and his passive is attack and defense plus 40% at the start of the turn, great chance of launching up to two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, damage received from normal attacks minus 40%, and counters with tremendous power. So the main differences here is that of course he didn't have any attack and defense before, so now it's 40% on top of the previous passive, and he also gets 10% more damage reduction for normal attacks and also the additional attacks now have a medium chance of becoming super attacks as, a, as opposed to before where it was just a chance. So it's basically 10% chance before versus 25% chance now of those attacks becoming super attacks. And uh, those are the main differences. Of course, the difference in stats is going to make a big difference as well. And everything else does stay the same before his Extreme Z Awakening. So without further ado guys, let's get into the gameplay and see what this guy can do. I am very excited. I've seen um, a lot of people, you know, talk about how good he is, you know, how much damage he can do and all that stuff, but I haven't used him myself yet. So everything I see will be essentially for the first time. And uh, if you guys, you know, are watching this showcase first before any others, then we'll get to experience this together for the first time, all right? Sounds kind of weird, but don't take it that way. Don't take it that way. Okay, here we go. So first turn, we're linked with the LR Vegito. Normal attack, thank God, 12 damage. And we're countering for about 300k, not too bad. And wow, okay, so first super, 2 million additional attack. All right, 400k. Additional again, another 400k, no additional super, unfortunately. Can we get, oh, there we go, okay. So second super of the turn, almost, almost 2.1 million, so about... Uh, ooh, and the counter went up to 500k now. So in total, as far as the attack generated that turn, it was about, I want to say 5 million or so. If you factor in the counters and the additionals, uh, that's pretty freaking good for his first turn. That is pretty freaking good. And keep in mind, we could have, in theory, gotten 4 supers off, right? So if you just consider that as 2 million per super, that would have been like close to 10 mil with the counters. So... I know a lot of people, um, I think especially like newer players, when they first saw that he only gets, what, 40% on his passive, they're probably like, oh, that's not so good. Like, 40% seems like a very, very low buff. But when you consider how high his stats are, and you consider the fact that he gets additional supers up to, or additional attacks up to like four supers in a turn, and also all the counters you could potentially get, let's say like, you get like three or four counters that turn, that's gonna be a couple million damage right there, right? As far as attack generated. Um, it gets pretty crazy. It can definitely get pretty crazy. And one weakness for him, 
was, I mean for a lot of Vegitos actually, was always the fact that even though they had the counters and they could take uh, a lot less damage for normal attacks, they were really bad at tanking supers because they just didn't have any kind of damage reduction or defense against supers. But now with this guy, um, even though he still won't be able to tank supers very well before he attacks himself, um, once he supers, he will greatly raise his defense, right? So if you get him to, you know, take a lot of attacks after supering, then he actually can tank super attacks quite well uh, as well now, you know what I mean? So we're gonna test that theory a little bit, we're gonna see how well that actually, you know, works out in practice, but I think... Ooh, nice crit counter there, 755k, 2.2 mil super, can we get some more supers this turn? Okay, there's an additional right there, so like I said, 25% chance to perform an additional super. There you go, there is the second super, 2.3 million, and I think Goku is dead. Okay, so I wish we could have gone like a third super there, but we just did too much damage, we're just too good. Anyways, uh, what I was talking about? Oh, so yeah, now I think he, he, does, he does have somewhat of an ability to tank supers just because he greatly raises raises defense as well on a super attack so think about think about it like this um let's say on a turn where he like double supers or triple supers he's greatly raising his defense he's raising his defense by 50 percent up to two or three times and when he does that he's gonna be able to take some super attacks he's still not gonna be like maybe tanking super well like he's not gonna be tanking as well as golden frieza or you know super saiyan 3 vegeta or anything like that but much more much much improved i guess man like i said it's really late my brain's not working properly i feel like my words are like coming out all jumbled so forgive me for that but just just focus on the gameplay and like, that's the main thing we're here for so focus on that don't focus on the words i mean kind of listen to me but like not the weird sentence structures and all that stuff all right so a third turn here now uh we actually haven't linked up with the Let's see. Oh, uh, who's a better linking partner? I think actually. Okay, so I think Fizz Vegito, yeah, is better. Although if you put him in the middle, we get a bit more attack. But I actually want him to get some more counters. So we're gonna leave him there, and uh, we'll get actually a lot of counters going now with the Fizz Vegito as well. So here we go. Please, normal. Okay, 123 attack or damage rather, and not as much damage on that counter. 1.7 mil without the support this time, but 1.3 mil crit and another additional super, 1.8 mil and another additional. If we get a counter, actually, never mind. I was going to say, if we get if we get the counter here, if he doesn't super us, then we'll definitely kill him, but the additional was actually enough. So as you can see, just consistently doing at least two supers every turn between 1.7 to 2.3 mil so far and uh that's a lot of damage that's a lot of damage you're putting out every single turn especially when we haven't actually gotten that many supers yet so think about a turn where we're getting you know three four normal attacks you know five six sometimes like the boss just goes crazy right with the um the the, the normal attacks like there's some like some some turns where you have like seven attacks stacked up in the first slot or something like that so imagine he takes all those attacks and counters and you know after a couple supers those counters will be getting like 500 600 000 attack or even more he just just add those numbers up man his damage output is ridiculous like even though the single super might not be as impressive as some things some units we've seen ooh, that's gonna hurt oh it's not I was gonna say that's gonna do a lot of damage, but I was actually wrong there. Okay, so now this is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. So I'm actually gonna. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I will super because he actually raises the attack of the rotation. So I'm gonna let the Fizz uh, Super Vegito super. Um, but there are a lot of attacks in the second slot. So we're gonna leave the Fizz Vegito blue there, obviously. And let's see what these counters can do. All right, this was definitely a very bad decision on Super Saiyan 3 Goku's part. It was a bad idea. Okay, so our, uh, I think, Rainbowed Fizz Vegito, his counter was about 250k or something like that. This is our Vegito Blue now. Oh, only the one additional attack, damn. Man, of all turns to only do one super. Anyways, every super is a 500k counter. 
and there's the crit 1.1 mil. Yeah, this this unit's busted, man. <laughs> this is a crazy ass unit. I'm actually the one thing I want to see right now is uh, what he can do. I can okay. We're, we're gonna put the Vegitos here because I don't trust. Or, or the LR Vegitos. I don't trust the Tech Vegito to take any supers right now. But uh, one thing I want to see is actually how well he can tank super attacks after a at least one or two supers himself. You know what I mean? So like we get the Vegito Blue to super one or two times, and then we'll take a super from the Goku and see how much damage that will do to us. Because that's one thing I'm very curious about. Um, how much better can he tank super attacks now that he gets the greatly raising a, a defense and also the 40% defense. The 40% defense obviously makes a difference, but not a huge difference. But uh, greatly raising defense with every super should make a lot of difference um, after he supers, right? So we'll see how, uh, how that works out. But as far as damage goes, I mean, we've seen plenty, I think. Okay, so this is actually a good turn to test this. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so... I mean, I don't want to use any items. Okay, so we're not going to use any items. Defense is 62,000 right now. Which is actually better than the Fizz Super Vegito. And... I guess we'll just give some random orbs. I hope we don't die this turn, because I still want to see a little bit more out of this guy. But if we die, then... It's okay. You know what? It, it just... It's gonna happen. So 2.2 mil with the super here. Okay, and additional. All right. Come on, give me, give me one more super. Give me one more super. Ah, one more super. Damn. Okay, so only one super here. We did get the counter, of course. And yeah, the, the normal attacks are still doing no damage. Now I'm scared we're gonna take a super in the middle, and that's gonna really hurt. If we take a super in the middle, that's gonna really, really hurt, man. Or in the end. Like, that could just straight up kill us. <sighs> Dude, okay, come on. Come on. Okay, so... Yeah, normals are fine for this guy, obviously. Oh no, is... The Supreme Kai gonna get super now? I mean, she could actually kill Goku, right? Yeah, in theory, she could kill Goku, so... Ah, uh, never mind. But no supers there, okay. Beautiful, I love it. So, uh, yeah, I accidentally gave the token attack to the Vegito on the other rotation. So that's my bad, guys. I apologize. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> um, I mean, you guys know I'm really tired right now. So my brain wasn't working properly, and I just let him super and waste the token attack on him. So that's very unfortunate, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so taking normal attacks really, really well. Um, hopefully we actually get super later on, like in this first slot, because I, like I said, I want to see how well he can take these supers for after he performs at least one or two supers himself. So there's the second super, so we greatly raise defense twice here, doing a lot of damage here. Triple super, all right. So we greatly raise defense three times now, and please, yo, yo, Goku, please super me, super me, just do it. Damn it. Yo, is it too much to ask for a super attack? You know, the interesting thing is that I came to this showcase not expecting to beat this event at all or even come close, right? I expected to like do a couple stages and just call it a day, but uh, we're actually making really, really good progress right now. So uh, I might actually beat the legendary Goku event here just by accident. Actually, you know what? Yeah, this might be it. <laughs> This might be it. The, I, I think our limit is going to be the STR stage because um, we're going to be taking so much damage here. So this is going to be like our last hurrah of the video. Uh, and let's go out with a bang, man. Let's go out with a bang. Are we going to get supered? We're not taking supered. We're, we're taking 39k though. Oh my god. 39k for a normal, even with 40% damage reduction. Uh, ooh. Okay, but that went down to 7k. So yeah, that super did made a whole lot of difference. Um, But I think this is it, guys. I don't think Super Vegito is going to survive. Oh! Oh, we're good. No, I, th I thought the signal was going to gonna, just going to die, but he came back immediately, so we're good, but uh, I think our team is actually going to die, so I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference here. <laughs> let's see, though. Let's see. Okay, so getting counters, 
Let's see what Supreme West Kai. Oh, we're not we're not getting super here either. Okay, so we I actually might survive to uh, live another day. All right, all right. So if we make it to Int UI Goku, then I I actually feel pretty good about our chances, man, because we have the two Fizz Vegitos, right? So we're gonna do so much damage to him. Um, and I actually might beat the legendary Goku event literally with three supports, right? We have three. We have three supports right now. We have the uh, West Kai. We have the um, Supreme Kai of Time, and we also have the ooh that hurt. Uh, we also have the Tech Vegito. So <laughs> that'd be pretty crazy if we can actually beat this event with this team, which I never would have expected. <sighs> okay, I mean. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna quit, obviously. But uh, if we happen to die, then then we just happen to die. I'm not gonna be too upset about it either. So maybe I'll go for like a Whis, and then we'll go for a Princess Snake, and we should be good, right? We should be okay. Let's see. Let's see. I did not expect to get this far, guys. Like I'm actually surprised how far we've made it. Uh, 30 damage, of course we have a ton of items stacked or a ton of damage reduction stacked right now, so I'm not overly surprised here. 2 million for the super. Give me a crit, ooh, nice, beautiful, getting tons of crits here. And give me more crit counters please. Yeah, okay, normal counters are going to do no damage. Now we're, we're getting supered. And 50k, perfect. Perfect. Yo, Fizz Super Vegito is actually stacked up pretty high too. Are we maxed out? Maybe. Might actually be maxed out at this point. Um Alright, yeah, we're 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 doing okay, man. I actually might beat this stage just by accident. I really did not intend to make it this far. But like the the STR stage is almost done. I think after um we, we counter a bunch with the Int Vegito, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be over, and then we're gonna dominate the final stage, man. As long as we don't get supered on like the tech guys, uh, we will dominate the final stage. Okay, so we're gonna actually <laughs> let Int Vegito do the work here, just because we have the type disadvantage. Um, so let's see what he can do for us. Come on, give me a crit, man. Give me crits. Yo, like, what is going on? What is happening? We might, we might die here. Cause if we don't get any crits, especially with the Fizz Vegito, then I think it's over. Come on, okay. Crit counter. No. All right. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Okay, second super. Come on, third super. No, third super. Yes, third super. Crit. Crit. No crit. 25 damage, though. Damn, okay. This is going to be a very close call. It's going to be a very, very close call. Oh, man. Oh, man. 50k for a normal attack. And I think that's it, right? No more. Wow, yo, this is this is too close. <laughs> this is too damn close. Um, let's pop the Android 8. And man, I'm actually like having a lot of fun right now. I I, I thought it was just gonna be the showcase, but it actually turned into an official, like legit run. And like, I actually feel like I feel pretty good about our chances. I, I really do. I feel like, yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's dead. And now I think we can actually take care of Int MUI pretty handily. I mean, am I worried about the uh, girl at the end? Yes, of course. But as long as she doesn't get supered, we actually should be good to go. So here we go with uh, the EZA Fizz Vegito Blue. Uh, there's a 24 key super for him, and she's gonna super too. She's gonna do like two damage. 
but that's okay. All right, so first counter, not much damage. We need the crits, we need the crits. Second counter, still not much damage. Getting supered. How much is it gonna do? I'm gonna say 100k. Oh, 60k, okay, not bad, not bad. Crit, no crit again. 30% chance, man, come on. Oh my god, he's gonna dodge that. Second super, 2.3 mil. Million damage, beautiful. Third super, 2.5 mil. No crit there either. But yeah, now now our counters are up to 729k. So that's actually gonna do some real damage. And I'm glad he didn't dodge this uh, LR Vegito super either. Should, should hit pretty hard here, maybe about a million. Hmm, 766k, okay, okay. Yeah, we need this guy to crit counter as well. Because your normal counters are, are not doing any damage, man. I'm sorry. I know you're trying. I know you're trying, but it's not working. It's not working. Okay. 37k on a normal. <laughs> Fantastic. Used every single item, but man, three supports on the team. And if we actually beat this, I think that is a testament to how good this Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening actually is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 3.4, 3.5 mil um, super right here. Give me a nice crit. <sighs> Yo, nobody wants to crit apparently. Ooh, looks like we're gonna have to break up the Vegitos here. Um, well, that's kind of the only thing we can do to ensure we don't die. And even if we do this, like if, if the if the super's in the middle, then we're still dead. Oh, just gotta pray, just gotta pray. All right, here we go. There's a crit, okay, 500K. 1.7 mil, of course, no links active this time. That's first super, second super incoming. Don't dodge, thank you. 1.4 mil, third super, 1.9 mil. Ooh, okay, it's gonna be a close call. It's gonna be a close call, man. Still got a bunch of, uh, or not a bunch, but two normal attacks here. A crit counter might finish it. Yes! <laughs> Dude! We actually did it. We actually did it. I, I, I actually accidentally beat the legendary Goku event with this Batara team that I brought literally just to... Um, to do the showcase, man. I, I was I, I never finished the actual event in my showcases, but today we just did it, man. Today we, we just did it because that the team is just that good. This team is just that freaking good. Oh my god. Um I don't know I don't know what to say, man. I I, <laughs> I really don't know. What to say, uh, 36 minutes seems a little long. Oh, I think actually I had it on the screen, um, you know, before I started the video, cause I was like doing some other stuff. So I think the actual run was probably about like 30 minutes or 28, 29 minutes. Uh, that's pretty fast, that's pretty fast. As you can see, my fastest time was 26 minutes, 30-ish minutes to clear for the Legendary Goku event is quite fast, especially um, considering three of the units on your team are really doing no damage and are just liabilities. That's crazy, man. I actually can, can, can I can um, collect some some stones and stuff now too. Look at that, nine stones for doing that. And that is the uh, showcase, guys. It didn't quite go the way I thought it would, but I actually think it went a lot better than I originally anticipated. So uh, that is it guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Fizz Vegito Blue's Extreme Z Awakening. I think he is ridiculously awesome. I mean, he he helped me beat, I mean, I, I don't think it was going to be that hard anyways with like my old team because I think I already did it before, but um, I did not expect this team to beat the legendary Goku event and it did. And I think a big part of it was this dude right here, I mean he was the one that finished the actual fight right with with those counters so uh yeah he's amazing he is absolutely amazing damage output 
off the charts and tanking wise a lot better after he supers for taking those super attacks but we didn't really take a super attack in this video at all did we that is kind of weird but it is what it is uh trust me when i say it. yeah he will be able to take supers better after he supers that turn so that's gonna do it for the video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it enjoyed this journey with me because i had a lot of fun i, I really really did and uh as always if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.